Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you are new, my name is Sarah and I make decor videos just like this one here on my channel. I also make a bunch of other stuff like what's for dinner videos, mommy life, plus size fashion, beauty, um, decorating, shop with me, all that type of stuff. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and joined our little family. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Sarah England. And today's video is going to be um, my Valentine DIY decor video. I'm really excited. I don't normally DIY any other time of the year. I don't know why, but for Valentine's, the past like four years, I have now made some fun, either Valentine for my daughter's school Valentine's or I've given Valentine's away from to my friends. I really, really enjoy it. I also think there's not a whole lot of Valentine decor that is, I feel like unique or really fits the style that I'm going for. And so I thought it'd be really fun to make three different DIY Valentine decor items that, um, that I could decorate with, but also share them with you. They're all three different pieces and I hope one of them suits you guys. They're also really budget friendly and really easily and accessible to do and to find the items for. Um, most of these things were either got, were either purchased at Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, or Walmart. And I'm gonna share them all with you. So the first item that I'm sharing with you is a faux whipped cream mug topper. This is like a new thing that I've recently discovered was an actual thing. Um, when I used to see these like perfect peaks of whipped cream and stuff on these mugs, I didn't realize that they were fake until recently when I watched a bunch of videos here on YouTube and looked at a bunch of Pinterest posts and it, I'm so excited. The majority of these um, supplies all came from Dollar Tree or Walmart. Everything was super, super inexpensive and it's so much fun to do um, and you really can make it your own and what's so great about it is you can make one for every season I mean I don't know if you want like whipped cream for 4th of July but maybe you do I don't know but they're really fun especially if you do tear trays or have a coffee bar area set up I'm really excited but I also think these would be really great to give away as little valentines with maybe a little mug um, like these little heart mugs that are at Walmart right now that are inexpensive and um, to just maybe fill the mug with little candies or treats or maybe a little pair of valentine themed socks and a little whip topper would be such a fun valentine to receive so i hope you enjoy it so let's get started making it all right guys first things you're gonna need is some sort of styrofoam ball or i've seen people use this with cardboard and building it up on that the ball to me was just easier to go around especially if you are not an expert into icing like i am not so um they do make like half kind of half spheres where you could buy at the store but all of the sizes were wrong so I bought a about a medium kind of size ball and I'm just cutting it in half and this actually allows me to make more um, and go stretch my buck a bit further so I'm definitely cutting it with two dull of a knife but I'm just cutting it in half so it is a semicircle or half of a dome or half of a sphere whatever that actual term is and then definitely use parchment paper to put it on top it'll just be so much easier to take off and reduce the mess then I'm just taking a bowl for my spackling I try to put foil, foil in it and I'm just not working so just do use a bowl um, and this is a lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree now this is the one that I've seen everyone recommend to use and for me this was not the one that I would recommend it I feel like it was just a little bit too dry or dried out maybe it was just old I don't know but it is not the one I would recommend I recommend the one at Walmart which you will see later in this clip but basically I'm just putting this back in a bowl and then I'm using white acrylic paint um, you can use whatever color you want eventually I will actually change this to pink but first I was trying out with white I wanted to get rid of the gray tone that the spackling had so I just use pure white paint to make it nice and white like whipped cream I'm using these Wilton tip sets the 2d one is my recommendation that's when the one I will end up using later down the road works so much easier than the other tips in my opinion next I'm just taking these disposable um, icing bags <laughs> and I'm just spooning in that uh, mixture as you can see it's kind of hard for me to get it in it just wasn't the consistency of icing it was very crumbly and wouldn't adhere and stay together and um, that should have been my first instinct that this was a bad batch but I thought this was gonna work so I'm just piping it in there anyway but you really want it to be like icing consistency next I'm going to try to ice my little circle sphere here 
um, and I'm starting at the bottom to create a kind of a nice layer for everything to adhere to. Um, but you can also see in this as it's just kind of flaking and falling apart, it doesn't want to stay together. Um, that's really what you need. You need an icing consistency. If it's not like icing, it's not going to work. This was just so thick, I ended up trying to thin it out and it became too runny and it just ended up melting, which you will guys see my failed attempt in a second, but definitely get it to an icy consistency. If you open up the spackle and it's not smooth and creamy, it is not going to work, at least in my opinion. But this was my failed attempt. You're about to see my other ones, um, but I just wanted to show you kind of how I iced it. It doesn't have to be perfect whipped cream. Normally when you, you know, pipe it out onto your coffee, it probably isn't perfect either. You just want it to look like it's a nice dollop of whipped cream. Here you can see um, my first attempt, or actually after like 55 attempts, I ended up going with a pink icing, but you can already see that it's starting to melt. It's not wanting to hold its um, peaks and texture, and it's just starting to melt almost like a glob of ice cream. Um, and you're going to see later how different it'll look with different spackling. I'm just taking these little um, paper straws that I got from Walmart in the party section and shoving that into the styrofoam. And then I'm taking these sprinkles that are actually from Wilton. They're little X's and O's, kisses and hugs, and they're so adorable. I loved them. Next, this is the next attempt in a different day where I actually got the right icing and it worked out so well. You're going to see how excited I'm about to be because this took so long and I wanted to get this craft right and I'm so glad I got it. I was so excited. <laughs> Alright guys, technically this is attempt number two, but it's like attempt really 55. It's just a second attempt with a different spackle, and it worked completely differently. This is called Fast and Final. This is lightweight spackle. I got this from Walmart. This was like $3 compared to the $1 from Dollar Tree. However, I don't know if the Dollar Tree one was just already dried out or what, but it was incredibly crumbly and really, really, really hard to work with. This one was like smooth like icing already. It was so much easier and you guys saw um, that it actually came together versus the other one. This was my first attempt that ended up like melted ice cream. And then this one, I'll show you a sec, hold on. And then this one was from today's. There's a lovely glare on it. I'm about to decorate it with sprinkles and stuff like that. Um, and this one obviously looks a million times better. And this is Ollie's. <laughs> She's in doing her own. <laughs> this one is obviously a million times better than that one. I'm going to decorate it and kind of perfect a little bit of the sides. But let me tell you, if your spackle is off, this is going to be off. I'm just using the same items that I used to decorate the first one. Um, and with the sprinkles, I just pour them on top, but you definitely want to adhere them individually and press them in so they adhere to the uh, spackle and do not fall off. All right, so here it is all sprinkled up and finished. What a difference. <laughs> Ollie is working very closely, very hands-on <laughs> with hers. Um, these are her and Ellie's ones from last time. They're making their own little snow cone versions. Um, oh, but she's doing texture. Love that idea, Ollie. And also, and also just doing some tips too and more um, adding. So I'll do this a lot more um, to do more texture because I like texture. <laughs> so I will show you guys when this is all dried and, and on the mug. to our channel. <laughs> all right so here's my cute little valentine's day tray that i put in my kitchen if you want to see where all these items are from don't forget to watch my valentine's day decorate with me but i think this turned out so cute it's not perfect but like i said before whipped cream isn't perfect and i just love the pop of pink that it brings to the kitchen it ended up turning out so much better than i thought it was i highly recommend giving it a try and i can't wait to try it for all the rest of the holidays all right, the next craft that we're doing is a really, really easy one. It's not even technically a DIY. It's more of like an upcycle thing. I saw this heart garland at Walmart, and while I think it is perfect the way it is, and you could totally use this if you have gold accents in your home, but if you wanted more girly Valentine's Day colors that are a bit more bright and exciting, then this is the garland for you. I feel also this garland may be easier to get your hands on um, because I know so much Valentine's decor and just decor in general sells out so easily but this uh, heart garland was actually from the Walmart bridal section. So if you go to the bridal area um, that's in the party area at Walmart you should be able to find it. 
I just got three different colored paints I chose in like the pink and red family um, and you can choose whatever colors that you would like and then this would also be really cute if you wanted to add this into like a photo garland and got like little mini clothespin clips um, and added this into like a little photo garland you could use this for a Valentine's Day party Valentine's Day home decor this would be cute for a first birthday um, what have you I feel like this is really customizable I also got this really adorable ribbon that goes along with it that we're just going to make tiny little bows and put on top. I just thought this was a fun way to be able to customize a garland. You could easily do this in so many different ways. Make this in conversation hearts, do completely different colors that you want to do, customize it to your own home, but I thought this was a really fun and easy upcycle way to create a Valentine's Day decor piece. All right, so here's the garland. Like I already said, this is from Walmart, but you can really see how thick the little wooden hearts are. I really like the substantialness of this garland. I feel like it is really nice and weighty. I'm just taking those foam brushes and then these three apple barrel paints. They have a ton of colors at Walmart and they're super cheap. I definitely recommend getting them from there. And then I'm just gonna pour it on a little plate and go to town and start painting. I did a couple coats on each heart um, and you're gonna see that the heart kind of, or the tops kind of dripped, um, or the paint kind of dripped from the tops. I ended up going back later in with an, a similar type of gold paint because I thought it looked really cute to have the paint, the gold paint on the sides because it ended up turning out kind of like cookies and I loved the way that looked. You could easily make them into conversation hearts like I said before or put um, some sort of cute saying on it or make it into a photo garland. There's so many options of this. I think it turned out so cute. Unfortunately, the rest of my light clips of it being hung up with the ribbon on it um, got deleted. I don't know what happened to that. So you're not gonna see that. You're just gonna see the first couple paint coats. But this is such an easy way to customize a garland and kind of make it to fit um, your theme. And so I still wanna share this with you even though I don't have the final product, but I still think it turned out so cute and I love that it kind of looked like frosted cookies. Um, and I just, that's what my girls think too. So it ended up being just the way we wanted it. It's so much fun and it was really inexpensive. So I definitely recommend and trying this one out as well. As you can see here, the gold on the side, it just looks like little cookies you just want to take a bite of. I loved how it turned out and these were um, drying and then I went over with one more coat and I loved it. All right, the last piece is a Valentine's Day th tree. Um, it literally killed me to take our Christmas tree down. It was the saddest day and I've missed it every single day since. My children cried. It's been a rough experience without the Christmas decor. There's nothing like a warm Christmas tree to be by. And so I desperately want some fun trees. Now I'm not gonna bring out a lighted tree again. I feel like it is specifically for Christmas and I want, I love the joy magic it rings when you bring it out. So I'm trying to resist, but instead I thought it'd be fun to make Valentine's Day cone trees. My mom made one with pom poms for Christmas for the, our girls and it turned out so cute. It was really easy to do and really inexpensive. So we found these cones um, at Hobby Lobby. I've also seen them at Walmart and I've also seen cone styles at Dollar Tree. So just go to your nearest craft store or if you want to go to check out Walmart Dollar Tree, definitely go check it out first. You can easily wrap these with felt. You can wrap them with yarn. You could wrap them with conversation hearts, um, gummy candies. I've seen so many different things. It's just such an easy way to add like a fun decor piece that adds height, maybe on your mantle or in your bathroom or wherever. And it's just a fun customizable piece that is really, really easy and just like a fun little craft to do yourself. So this is inexpensive. And I feel like I really haven't seen a lot of these options for sale to be able to buy. So I think it's fun to be able to do it yourself and really have something unique. So you can totally customize this in any of the ways that you want to, but this is how we did it. All right, so here is my little styrofoam tree. I'm just taking basic white yarn. This isn't anything special. It's just basic yarn that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I'm just trying to see how it'll wrap um, around the tree to kind of get an idea. And then I'm just taking my glue gun, and I'm putting a straight line all the way around the bottom of it. I don't use hot glue from bottom to top. I just kind of put a one line and wrap a couple of times and then do a, another line of hot glue and then wrap a couple times and it stay, it's super secured. I'm not worried about it unraveling, but I just figured using hot glue on the whole entire thing would just be way too much and there would be so much glue peeking out. And I'm really glad that I did the way that I did it because I feel like this worked out really well. So I just do a thin line on the bottom and then I just carefully and tightly wrap the yarn around the top. The glue kind of spreads out because it's pretty 
thick, obviously, and so it adheres a couple more layers really easily. This isn't wrapped perfectly. It's kind of messy. I kind of liked the way that looked rather than perfect, clean spiral lines. You can do it however you like. I did do a couple of layers around each kind of part so it kind of kind of built up a little bit and you couldn't see the styrofoam through. I definitely recommend that if you are using a different colored yarn you really want to make sure that you can't see the styrofoam through but with white you can't tell at all. But I loved the way that it's kind of messy and layered. I thought it just looked super cute. I got these felt heart stickers from Hobby Lobby and then these little glass kind of plasticky um see-through heart scatters from Dollar Tree and at first I decided just to stick on the hearts but later I went back and unstuck them and uh, hot glued them instead. They were stuck really well with this uh, adhesive from the sticker itself but just to make it long term for many years to come I decided to hot glue them and that's what I would recommend doing just so it lasts a bit longer. Um, but this was a fun thing for my girls to help with. Eleanor ended up helping um, stick the stickers on. It was fun, and this ended up being in their room anyway, so it's a project that she got to work on. I, of course, used all the, hot, all the hot glue she didn't, but just for her to start sticking things on initially, she had a lot of fun doing it. So this is how it turned out. I think it looks adorable. This is probably my favorite thing, that and the mug topper. I loved how easy this was. It was inexpensive, and it was just something fun and unique. I haven't seen any Valentine's Day trees, and you could use so many different items on this and really really make it your own and now I want to make one of these for every season now. But this is in the girls room. This is how it turned out. It's just so adorable. This little corner is so cute. I love it. I love how this all came together um, and if you want to see the decor definitely check out my Valentine's Day decor haul. All right, that is it. So I hope you enjoyed those DIYs. I am not like a big DIY person. I'm not very crafty. I'm not very good at it as much as I wish I was. I bet that if I practice more, I could get better, but I do struggle with the craftiness. But Valentine's are just so fun for me to make, and I don't know, there's just something about it that brings out the craftiness in me when it is Valentine's season in February. Um, but I hope you enjoyed these. Let me know below if you decided to try them, and if you ended up liking them, or if you have any Valentine DIYs that you've done that you've really enjoyed as well. Um, Stay tuned because there's going to be more Valentine's themed content of decors and hauls and what I got my kids for Valentine's Day on the channel. So you don't want to miss any of that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back. Chaz. <laughs>